All right, gang, welcome back to our zero to one billion dollar challenge in Ohio Richlands. You join me as we're on our way back up to the farm here. Um, I'm in the skid steer. I went ahead and just bought a, a cheap bucket. I think it was about 700 bucks. Not too expensive at all. So we can clean up the mess that we made over uh, by our silos. So that's job number one. I already have a worker set and working on our field over there. Uh, I didn't really want to just jump straight into a time-lapse and do that uh, that field immediately with you guys. We did a lot of that in the last episode. I mean, it was, it was uh, over an hour, actually, after I went into the edit. I found out over an hour of actual footage of just harvesting that field, and it wasn't even done. So once I put it into a time-lapse, I cut it down to like 15, 16 minutes, which is still a very long time-lapse. Almost too long. Probably was too long. Uh, I don't want to bore you guys with just doing the same harvesting every single episode, so... Because of that reason, I threw it on a worker. We're not really going to worry about that field today. We're going to try to do some other things. We're going to try to accomplish some other things today. And um, just let the worker do its thing. And we'll just fill up the uh, the trailer when we're ready. Now, we are going to need some more money to be able to do some of the stuff I want to do today. Which isn't really ideal. It's not kind of what I said yesterday. Yesterday, I said I wanted to, you know, save some of the money as long as I could. I don't know if we're going to be able to get all this up, gang. It's looking like it's not going to let me. We're going to try. In any case, I, I don't know if it's going to let... Uh, I don't know if we're going to be able to save all of this, because we're going to need a lot of it to buy some of the stuff that I want to do. We need to get a baler, since we made all of those different paths there. And there is a baler out in the used sale market. I don't think I'm going to be able to get this up. I want to get a little bit of it. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to get that up. We're just going to have to lose that amount, whatever that is. There's not going to be a whole lot I can do about it. Alright. Well, it's in there now, so we're good. But that rest of it, we're just going to have to lose it, unfortunately. It's not that much. It might be 1%, maybe, um, of this bucket. Looks like it holds about 2,000 liters, something like that. So we'll go ahead and put the skid steer away real quick. See, I put the, uh, the front of the other, the, the, the forks right there. We're just going to throw this here next to it. We've got plenty of room in this barn for right now, so I'm not too concerned about, you know, making it look super neat because we have so much room, but eventually we will uh, be using this barn to its fullest and have to realign things a little bit. So let's go ahead and close that. We don't need that open. <coughs> so my goal here is I want to sell... Or want to sell. I want to buy this baler out here in the used market. It's a very good baler. It makes very large bales for us. Um, it's 51% off on sale because of it being used. It only has 15 hours on it. Not much. It is a square baler, though. It's a, um, a Heston baler, I believe. And uh, I don't normally use Heston balers. It's not that I dislike them. I just don't. I just normally use round balers. Uh, so this will be a little bit different for us. Um, how much has he got? He's got 60%. So... I'm going to wait till he comes down here and uh, fill that up. Let me just make sure. I've noticed recently that the uh, the volume on some of the vehicles are a little loud, so just drop them down to 50%. So you guys can hear me a little bit better. Um, so that's my goal, really, is to get that baler. Hopefully, it's still out there by the time we get this filled. I also would honestly like to get this wind rower. Uh, it's a very wide wind rower, 12.5 meters. We probably could wind row this field and make it into, you know, two of these swaths into one large swath, which would be better overall. Um, but we'll see. I mean, we'd have to get another 70,000, give or take. Uh, for me to feel comfortable to do that because we need money for to pay for the worker that's actively being you know used right now so um, That's kind of our goal today is to get those two and then bail this Today if we can do it uh, We do have to harvest like I said the other field back here, but it shouldn't harm it We don't have uh, seasons on or, or weed destruct uh, 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 weeds or not. We I can't talk today. We don't have the um I'll just show it to you. We don't have it on where it's, um, uh, do, 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 uh, the, uh, withering or whatever it is. I don't, I don't know where it's at. It's like withering, basically, where the crop will wither if you don't harvest it in time. We don't have that on, so, um, I don't have to worry about 
when I harvest it. Because again, this is literally just a challenge to try to get to a billion dollars as fast as we can. Now, as far as leasing goes, I don't think I ever mentioned that. I don't really like leasing on any of my series. I do allow it on Elm Creek playthrough, um, which is just playing through the campaign stuff in, in a time-lapse series. I am allowing it on that because that's literally just playing through the game, in my opinion. I don't think I'm going to allow leasing on this series either. I had a thought about it. I thought maybe we should based off of the you know what we're trying to accomplish, but I'm not going to do it. We're, we're going to not allow leasing. I just think it's a little bit more challenging, a little bit more fun, and since we have some of the other things that would make this challenging turned off, like lime, uh, periodic plowing, things like that, I'm not going to worry about it in this series. So no leasing. We'll go fill the rest of this up from uh, the silo. We're going to go sell it, and then... Uh, Hopefully, once we sell that, hopefully those vehicles, those uh, equipments, each of those equipments are still out in the used sale market and we can buy them from there. I'm just going to make sure I don't want uh, the same thing to happen again to us. I mean, we're not unloading. I just want to, you know, fill. All right, we're good. So I wonder um, if it gives me the, the option to select what I'm filling whenever we're filling with something else, or if it'll even let us do more than one thing. I hope it does. If it doesn't, then we've got a big problem. I don't know why we need those big massive silos. We may have to upgrade those or change those. Uh, rather, not upgrade. I, think, I don't think we're ever going to have anything bigger than that. I would assume it gives us the option to choose what we want to fill. We'll find out. Okay, let's see where we're going here, gang. Let's get on a straight piece of land here so I don't run into anything. Uh, let's see. 2521. That's where we're going. Butler's AG, Ohio. That is a different one. So we're, we're going to hit all three of the sell points now in this series already. Well, all three of the main single crop sell points. I'm sure there are other sell points potentially for stones and wood and things like that, but we're not doing that. We're not doing stones, but... We really don't have a whole lot of wood. We have that one tree back there that has fallen down. We will need to get rid of that. But I really don't plan on doing a whole lot of tree cutting in this series. Unless we buy, which maybe we will, unless we buy, you know, a wood plot of land or something like that. Or that, that has some wood on it that we can we can chop. And maybe we will do that, but if we do do that, it's not going to be any time in the near future. It'll be probably later on in the series. I probably should follow the rules of the, of the road, but I didn't do it. Just ran right through it. Just blew through that stop sign. Let's get the white on the outside. It's optional, right? I like that old farm barn right there. I like old barns that look like they're ready to fall down. I know that's weird to say, but I do. I like them. Fifteen mile an hour, I'm blowing past that speed limit. <laughs> Private grain trading, Butler's AG, Ohio. All right, going here, back to the left. Looks like they got two barns that look like they're falling down. Looks very similar in reminiscence to our or reminiscent to our silos, but it has a much easier <laughs> area to drop your crop. Or mine, when I when it tips up, it's too big and it hits the top, and all kinds of things happen. So this looks like it's going to easily get us there. So I'm going to buy this before it leaves. 
because it could leave at any minute because it's the first one on the list there. So we're gonna go ahead and buy it. 250 horsepower. Actually, I don't even think we can buy that, can we? We can't even. We can't even do that. 250 horsepower. Man, that sucks. I was hoping we were gonna be able to do that. Hmm. That means we have to upgrade our tractor if we do that. How much money are we gonna get out of here? Looks like about 115,000. Well, let's buy this first. We definitely want this, because even if not, we're going to use it if we do any kind of grass work. This is a fantastic uh, wind rower. We'll buy that, even if we can't. We got 89,000. Does it make sense already to upgrade our tractor? Episode 2. You guys know I love upgrading tractors. If you've watched my 200 horsepower series, you know we're on our third tractor already. Well... Very near, well, very near. I don't know when this this episode's gonna come out. I might have just spoiled that we're buying a third tractor, but if I did, oh well. It's not that big of a deal. All right, so the the shop is way down here. So the shop's really far from where we are. Everything is pretty far from where we are, honestly. Um, Eighty nine thousand, and we need two hundred and fifty horsepower tractor. Can we even get there? I, uh, how much is our tractor worth now? Thirty nine six seven eight. By the time you upgrade, or you uh, fix it, repair it, probably forty three. So we probably can get there. We need two hundred and fifty horsepower, though. That's a lot of horsepower. Let's just take a peek here and see what we got on blocking traffic. I know, but they'll get over it. One hundred seventy nine thousand. We can't do that. These are way too... I don't think we can do it. Here's 261 for this case. Potentially the case here. No, 104,000. 104,000. Okay, so potentially that one. Lamborghinis! It's, it's going to have to be that one. If we do it, it's going to be this case. Tell you what, we're going to go back and get another load and sell it. And that uh, that baler may not be there anymore, and if it isn't, we'll uh, we'll pivot at that point. But we're gonna do that, and we're gonna hope it's still there. See so you guys when we get back to the farm. All right, getting we're back to the farm. I already filled up uh, part of the trailer because the uh, the harvester had finished and I forgot to hit record, but you didn't really miss anything. I just went over there and had it had the trailer filled up. So. Um, I think we're gonna have a bit of a change of plans here. So, the more I thought about it, <clears throat> it's gonna be seventy-five thousand for the baler if I buy the used baler, and then another hundred and something thousand for the tractor. We're gonna use up every bit of this that we have, and uh, we're, it's not the best time to sell it right now. I mean, it, it's it's not terrible. Don't get me wrong, it's not terrible, but it's not the best time. There are better times than what we're dealing with right now. Is what I'm trying to say. When we could be selling this. So, based off of that, <clears throat> what we're going to do is we're going to run back to the shop, pick up the wind rower. We're going to start wind rowing, and then we're going to look later on at what balers we can afford to get that our trailer or that trailer, our tractor can use and utilize in its current state without having to do any kind of uh, tractor changing. I will also look and see if our tractor can be upgraded as far as power goes. I don't think it can. I think it's maxed out on power already, but I will double check. Um, and that may help us in the long run as well, but we should be good to move out now. Nice. So <clears throat> let me run to the shop. Let me pick up the uh, the wind rower. Bring it back up here. We'll begin the wind row process. We'll let the uh, the harvester do its thing, and then. Uh, 
we'll go from there. Stick this right about there. Hopefully, it might drop a little bit in there while it's past. If it doesn't, oh well. See you guys when I'm back here with the wind rower. All right, gang, we're pulling back up here to the farm, and as I expected, uh, this tractor is maxed out as high as it can be, 175 horsepower. So we can't get any higher than that, unfortunately, uh, even if we wanted to. So uh, what we're going to do first, like I said, is we're going to windrow all of this. It's going to take a long time to do. Could be an episode of itself, probably just windrowing this. Um, but I don't want to make it that the whole episode. But we're going to windrow this for a little while, and then uh, I can do some of it off camera. Just want to try to make this easier, if at all possible. And I believe it should reach to both of them. I'm hoping I'm not. I didn't calculate that step incorrectly. I didn't. Yeah, it'll it'll reach it'll reach the two swaths easily. So we're going to do that. There we go. Let's say it's taken longer than I was expecting, but yeah, it'll easily reach two swaths. So this should make it nice and neat and be able to put a one really big swath in for the wind rower, which will, or not the wind rower, the baler, which will mean it'll cut our baling time in half. We don't have to go up and down as much, turn around. So make it much easier for us. So with that, we'll throw a time lapse in here. We're gonna get this wind road as fast as we can. Um, nine, power, nine, power, nine mile per hour, easy for me to say, is not too slow. It should be relatively quick um, for us to do this. And then we'll be back with you guys once we get to a certain point. I can guess I can turn off the beacons now. We're on our field. We don't need the beacons on anymore. All right. See you guys when this is done.
All right, gang, so I had to rethink. We're going to go with this Fent Rutana 160V combi silage. Or silage, if I could say that correctly. Uh, it's 85.5. We can afford it currently, right now. It is 140 horsepower. Our tractor can pull it as it currently is, and it has the ability for us to wrap bales. So if we ever do grass later on, we can wrap the bales. So this is what we're going to go with. It does have the ability to go up to 150 centimeters, which is really what I wanted. I wanted something bigger than 125. 125 are nice, but when we're making these big these big swaths that we've got creating right now, uh, we're going to need a little bit more to be able to be put in to the bale before it gets dropped, or we're going to be dropping one every 10 seconds. So... We're gonna buy this one. We're gonna go with it. That was our choice. So I've got it on a worker right now. Uh, looks like the worker is not exactly doing what I wanted to while I was in there looking at that. Uh, I went back up a row where there's literally nothing there. So we're going to try to fix the worker if we can. And I'm just gonna let the worker do the rest of this. I'm going to work on uh, some other things within the yard here off camera. And then we'll be back with you guys once we get closer to being able to uh, utilize our new baler. And my goal here, just to kind of give you guys ballpark of what my goal is, I would like to ideally figure out what trailer we're going to get. Now remember, in this series, we are allowed to utilize uh, an auto loader for bales. It would just take significantly way too long to do just this plot of land, it's massive. Uh, if I didn't have the auto loader on, and you guys know if you watch my 200 horsepower challenge, which if you aren't, what are you doing? Go watch it. It's awesome. Um, I'm not the greatest at loading bales. I don't think many people are, honestly. I think there's very few people in the farming simulator world who would actually acknowledge and tell you that they enjoy and are very good at stacking bales. I'm not one of them. I will fully tell you that. But anyway, I digress. Let's like, let's get this done. Um, I'll let the worker do some work for a little while while I figure out everything else out, and then I will take over. And when we get closer to being complete here, I'll be back on with you guys at that point. All right, gang, we pretty much have this complete. So what we're going to do here, we're going to uh, put this away in the shed, and then uh, we will go pick up our baler, get this bale going. We are also going to need to sell some more, um, I believe this is oat. We're going to have to sell some more oat because, uh, actually I can tell you for sure, yeah, it is oat. We're going to sell some more oat because we have to buy a trailer to be able to pick up all these bales. Now, I expect we're going to get enough bales that the, that those specifically by themselves will pay for the trailer and more. At least that's my hope. I don't know how many bales we're going to get. I'm always really bad at guessing the bale game. This is a massive field. By far the biggest field I've ever baled, I think, in this game. Um, most of the time I do smaller fields and smaller series. But um, we'll, we'll, once we get up here we start going, I'll, I'll have a guess of how many bales I think this is going to be. I really don't know, though. Zoom in. I can't see where I'm going. This thing barely fits in here. Put it there for now. Like I said, we've got plenty of room in here. I'm not too concerned about <laughs> making it look neat. Actually, I'm not really concerned about making it look neat at all. That's not really what this series is about. But Let's get down there. Let's get our baler. We'll bring it back up here. We'll begin baling. And we'll see how long it takes us. Again, right, we're pulling back up here to the farm, and I've noticed my uh, my tractor, I believe it's my tractor. It has to be. We bought this brand new. Um, got a lot of damage on it. He's going to have to have a service here real soon. So we're going to need some money for that, too. All right, let's go ahead and flip everything on here. I want to make sure we get everything set up properly. Uh, I don't know how to change the bale size. There we go. We want 150. Turn on automatic drop. We want that. Lower pickup. We should be ready to go. Perfect. So let's see how fast this fills up. It looks like it's going to fill up pretty damn quickly. We're already at 50%. Yeah, we're, we're there already. Wow. Oh, 
Oh, you can wrap them. Okay. I was not expecting to be able to wrap uh, hay or straw. Not hay, straw. Really? Huh. Okay. I guess it must be the the mod itself that allows me to do it with any uh, any bale. I guess. I mean, that's even better. We'll make way more money off of uh, silage than we will off of straw. What I wish, and I think I mentioned this previously with uh, some conversation with some other farm farming folk, specifically on the 200 horsepower challenge, I wish there was a possibility to have a worker do baling and, and, you know, and, and and a lot of the grass mowing stuff, it, it just, it's, it's not possible. I wish it was, though. I really, truly do. Uh oh, too far. Back it up, back it up, back it up. So we made an orange uh, bale silage color, wrap color. We haven't done orange before, but I figured it makes sense since our... Uh, Little tiny logo in the left-hand corner describing what it is we're playing is, is orange. So just try to keep it. With that, I don't think I've ever done orange bales before either. So, something new, something different. Now you may hear my nose is a little stuffy. I may be talking a little stuffy or sound like I have some congestion and I, uh, and it's because I do. Uh, sciences are, are actually killing me right now. So, it's another problem with where I live at. This, the uh, the sciences are really bad in, uh, in southern Ohio. So, I believe, I don't think it's the worst, but it's one of the worst places in uh, America. As far as sciences go. So. So, yeah. How many bales are we going to get? We've already got... Three? One, two, three, four, five. We've already got five bales. Um, and they're, they're, they're popping out at a rapid speed here. So I'm going to say... Hundred and ninety bales. That's what I'm going to say. Hundred and ninety bales. That's a lot of bales. But that's what I'm going to guess. That we're going to have hundred and ninety bales out of this. This is going to take a while. I don't know if we should do a whole time lapse of it or not. Since we didn't do a whole time lapse of the um, wind rowing, we may do a whole time lapse. It just depends on how long this takes. It's taking quite a long time just to get through one pass so far. So um, we'll see. But we'll go into a time lapse now, and I'll talk to you guys either when the time lapse is over and we've completed the whole field or when I've jump cut to the end of the field.
never let them get inside your head They'll tell you what to do in life instead Of everything you know that you can get Don't let them guide your life towards regret I'll fight for what I love with every breath My past is filled with things I won't forget I use them all to push me to my best So treat the worst of times just like a test If only I could go back in time I'd tell myself that everything will end up alright Just push yourself, test yourself, figure out what you like And find your limits, don't be rigid, always work towards a prime Surround yourself with open minds, people can change your life A few friends with intent can help you feel alive Find a passion, take some action, and with a little time Just be patient, make a statement, try to enjoy your life They'll try to kick you while you're down They wanna rise up while you drown They wanna fill your head with doubt They're silently scared that you'll figure it out I'll make it look like I'm losing Won't bother hiding my bruises And when they finally think you're wounded Then it's your chance to be ruthless I can see that they compare I think everyone's against me Maybe something in the air Am I paranoid? I swear a void is forming And they're scared I walk a straight path Not many can say that I'd like to play fast Cross me and there's payback You better pray that I don't see your face at Any place that I go I know you hate that I've been doing Alright, so I'm definitely way off of my bell count As I always am but uh, I will admit that I have completely forgot how awesome these rapper and bail combos are. Uh, on my 200 horsepower challenge I'm doing right now, I, I don't have a rapper combo, obviously, uh, for multiple reasons. So I've completely forgot how nice these are. These make it so easy, it's so much faster, and uh, it's, it's just a lot better. So I'm going to have to look at potentially grabbing this for that series as well. Looks like this, this path has a lot more... Um, straw in it than the other ones did because I'm having issues even getting the bailout in time before it's full so we're gonna get a little bit slower here we're gonna have to come back and touch this lineup there are some other areas where obviously I've missed stuff but it hasn't been too extreme that I'm I'm, I'm not worried about it but these there's a there's been a big chunk that we've left and uh, could potentially be another bail but We'll see, we'll see where we're at when we're done here. If we get to the end and we're exactly right around zero, it may not be worth it, but if we just need a bit more, we're certainly going to do it. Kind of seems like we're going to be right at zero here. Yep. So we'll see when we get to the end here how much we have. Probably going to be about 20%, maybe. Twenty-five percent, so not too bad. We will go back here and just pick it up. I don't think it's going to be enough to make a bail, but uh, we'll at least attempt. But that's a lot of orange bales, gang. That's a lot of orange bales. I don't know how many we have. I'm not going to look yet. Like I said, I want to pick up this, these scraps on this path here. This could be a lot of weaving, so hopefully I don't make you guys sick, but. A lot of weaving in and out of these. But if we get halfway there, I'm pretty happy with that. And that's probably where we're going to get, about 50%. We get two big piles here. I'm not going to worry about the rest. The rest can just stay as they are. But if we can get these two big piles, or most of the big piles, I'll be happy. About 45%. I was, I was off. 
45% left. Or, I mean, 45% of the male inside there. Go grab this little portion over here, and then we will be done with the bales. And honestly, we're probably going to call the episode as well. Uh, the first episode was super long. I really didn't want these these episodes to be that long because I already am doing two other series on the channel. And as I mentioned, I have a main channel as well where I do daily videos. So it's a lot for me um, to do this plus full-time job where sometimes I work you know, many, many hours. Um, I don't know when this video is going to come out, but at the time of this video, uh, two days from ago from this video, I had worked a 15-hour shift and then yesterday I worked a 12 and a half hour shift so a lot of hours and then trying to do this too and doing all the edited and stuff it's a lot gang and I'm not trying to ask for sympathy or anything like that that's not what I'm saying I'm just telling you guys that's the reason why I can only do so much on the channel is because I just don't have the time just simply don't have the time okay so let's go put this in our barn we got about 54 percent well we got exactly 54 percent after picking up a lot of those scraps we probably could have honestly got a bale out of it if we went all the way around and tried to hit every single spot, but that's just a waste of time. It's not worth it. Time is money, baby. Time is money. All right, we need to realign this. We are not properly aligning this like we want to. So we're going to put this in the back with the, uh, the wind rower. I mean, we'll use it, but I don't think we're going to use it as often as we do in uh, the 200 horsepower challenge because we don't really have any grass fields, at least not yet. We may eventually. But whenever we have wheat or oat and we're able to do any kind of baling, we will utilize those two machines. But we definitely need to get this vehicle serviced as soon as possible. What I'm going to do, even though I don't really want to do it, I'm going to go ahead and fill this up and uh, so I can actually go service my vehicle because I'm pretty sure right now we can't even service the vehicle. I don't think we have enough money to do it. So I'm going to get about a half tank or half a trailer load here. Perfect. It's not too much. 10,000 liters. That way we can save the rest of it because the oat uh, should continue to go up. As far as the price goes, we're going to want to sell the oat uh, January-ish. So, yeah, it's, it's continuing to go up right now. So, we're going to go back to Butler's AG, Ohio. Still the best price. And then from there, we're going to go service our vehicle. And we'll probably call the episode there at that point, gang. But maybe not. We'll see. We'll see. All right, we are pulling up here to the sell point. Watch out, miss. Coming by. We should get... We should have a decent chunk for, for 10000 for a half a trailer. Load. We really should. Maybe even be able to buy the trailer with it, but we'll see. I don't know how much it's going to cost to uh, repair the tractor yet, but... I think the trailer is going to cost us around twelve to fifteen thousand dollars, somewhere around then. So we should be able to do it easily, I think. Here, oh, yeah, we're going to get tons out of this. Oh, yeah. 30, 31, 840, 27,950 dollars from that half a trailer load. That's fantastic. And as it continues to go higher, we're going to make so much money off that field, man. We're going to have a lot of money. So I'm glad we're keeping it. Although it would be nice to have it now to be able to pay for some stuff. And we're going to have to use a little bit more probably in the next episode to be able to pay for some kind of drill. We really need another tractor because we're going to need a tractor to be able to pull this uh, as we harvest the field, the other second field we own. 
and then we need a tractor to be able to drill the first field that we have now finished harvesting. So realistically, we need two more pieces of equipment at a minimum. Really, we need three. We need something to do herbicide. Well, actually, you know, we have a sprayer. You're right. No, no, no. We have a sprayer. I'm sorry. We have a sprayer. Um, I would ideally like to do the fertilizer in pellet form. It is cheaper than doing liquid fertilizer, but if we can't do it the first time, at least we have that option uh, to be able to do liquid fertilizer since we already own the sprayer. So we're taking a different path here to the shop because we're coming from that cell point. So I've never even been this way, so it's nice to see the different farmlands we're seeing. This is a nice area over here. I like this area. This is an area I could certainly have seen us choosing as our starting plot if we didn't choose the one we do currently have. I like the flag. That's nice. We need to get a flag on our farm. This one's a, a very big... It's got a, a real, real big area back there. Two nice big silos. Oh, I'm going into his crop. Sorry. Sorry, buddy. Big barn. He's got a lot of stuff. All right, there's the farm shop, which we've sold there before. This guy's carrying some bales himself. I would love to have a truck like that. Can't hold that many bales, though. We've got way too many bales for that truck. That's why we need the trailer. Now, is there a gas station up here? I bet there's not. I don't know where the gas station is, honestly. No, it doesn't look like there is. So I don't know where the gas station is. We're going to have to try to figure that out. So here's the shop. I believe over here is where we can get item serviced. Yeah, there's a tractor without a, without a wheel on it. So it's definitely in this vicinity. I just heard something ping, so I think it's in here. Yep. Perfect. So look at that condition. That's real bad. $5,000 to repair this thing. $19,000 to repaint it. I'm not repainting it. I'm not, I'm not repainting it. I'm not doing that. We can repair the trailer. It's only eleven dollars. All right, so we have twenty-five thousand dollars left to our name here. Um, what I think I'm going to do to finish this episode out is we are going to uh, leave the trailer here, and we're going to pick up our bale trailer that we're going to buy right now, and then in the next episode we will bale, well, we'll bale, we'll load, we'll auto load all of those bales onto the trailer and sell those and begin our harvest on the second field. Um, again, I would like to get a drill as well, but I just don't know if we're going to be able to do it in this episode or not. Or, I mean, next episode or not. Um, it just depends on how long all of that bale loading takes, selling all those take, and then the harvesting takes. It's going to be all of that stuff that we have to figure out. All right, so bale loaders. The one I had my eye on was this guy right here, the Lizard Tandem Trailer. Uh, auto load has the ability. 38 bales. That's a good chunk of bales, honestly, for us. We'll put it on Michelin's. I like Michelin's. I don't really care about extensions. We may use this for moving that one log or that one tree that fell down. Excuse me. Uh, floor. I don't mean it's wood versus an actual metal. I just believe it would. Uh, I'm actually okay with the color. I would like to change the rims. I don't know if it costs money or not. It, uh, I'm not paying $1,000. We'll leave them as is. I don't want to pay $1,000 to change the rim color. So we're going to leave that as it is. I like it. That's what we're going with. 38 bales is a pretty good one. It's a pretty long trailer. This should work well for us. And there it is, gang. There's our new trailer for our bales. So with that, we'll leave that episode there, gang. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Like, subscribe if you're new. It's free. It helps me out a ton. If you have any thoughts, questions, comments, ideas, you know the drill. Let me know down below. Uh, subscribe to my other channel as well if you haven't done so. And until next time, I will see you guys in the next episode.